Hey all, my name is Mark, and in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how I set up my 2004 20-inch Apple Cinema Display to my 2021 M1 Max MacBook Pro. And all it takes is a $40 adapter. Let's go. So a big question you might have out the gate is why in the funk would you want to do this? It's a very valid question, especially these days where tech being older than three months is kind of uh, meh especially in this YouTube space. Now, I do tend to enjoy combining old tech with new tech in a way that brings fresh functionality. So this is kind of on brand for me, but that's not why I did it. It's actually a much more practical reason, but I'll get to that later. Let's talk about what you need, because really like that's, that's why you're here. It is really simple. I purchased this DVI to USB-C adapter, linked in the description, $40. First, set up your monitor. Be sure to dust it off first. <laughs> Once she's all dusted off and ready to go, connect those adapter DVI inputs. Then connect the USB-C to your Apple device. This works both on laptop and desktop options, by the way. Then turn on the monitor, assuming it still works. It is that easy. And now you've got a 17 year old monitor you can use however you want. Now with the important stuff out of the way, let me explain why I did this. Now I am currently looking at primary monitor options for the new 2021 M1 Max MacBook Pro. I mainly use this system for video editing where monitor space is in high demand. Now finding a monitor that complements the XDR display on the MacBook Pro, short of Apple's current $6,000 monitor option, is a bit of a challenge. I want to make sure I make the right choice, and for me, that always takes time. While I'm pondering this big decision, I do need immediate functionality with this computer. Because I already had the 20-inch cinema display laying around, I thought it would do for now. Look at it. It's not a bad piece of kit, even at 17. Anodized aluminum casing with a slight bezel, complemented by a matching aluminum stand with adjustable hinge. That doesn't cost extra. Now the current Apple monitor design isn't that far off, outside of pixels, color accuracy, brightness, etc. Well, you get the picture. I mean, I guess if that monitor could last for 17 years like, like this one did, I guess the price tag with the stand isn't that bad. It's just a hard pill to swallow all at once. All right, so this is my setup currently, and it's been quite functional. Being able to take advantage of the increased performance the M1 chips are offering with the functionality of two monitors, even if it's just temporary. Now this is buying me the time I need to make the right call for what monitor I ultimately do get. And all it took was a $40 adapter. Old with the new, I tell you, sometimes, sometimes it just works. Not all the time, but sometimes. Thanks as all for watching. Any questions, leave them below. Holtz out. Let's go. What the hell is this? Try one more without the uh, Shooter McGavin thing there. Yeah, Shooter McGavin. Hey, Shooter McGavin. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>